lara o ni ton le alara o a tun ti gbe mi ide gege bi se ti wa iyi ti mo wa gbede yi oro to ni se pelu to sele lawon agbegbe ati lawon fun le kokan ni bo ba ti ya yin aroye nu temi ko le fe gbo e ja lo gboro lenu awon to ni sele yi baba wa pada de ka tesi waju lori eto o ti ya um good evening everyone uh this evening somebody called my attention to the video that Shen Kuti uh, made and was blasting Sunday Boho and uh, our leader Mazen Amdekano. And after watching it, all I, all I could see was somebody, uh, you know, that is very confused. You know, he was actually saying, why should you people run away? Why can't you stay in Nigeria? If uh, the father was a uh, coward, he would run away and use his Afro beat to do this and do that and he he wouldn't give birth to uh, somebody like him in Nigeria. I look at a very confused and uh, and uh, his father, you know, where he is today will be very disappointed from that, you know, somebody who his father died in prison like a chicken. He wants other people to stay and die when there is opportunity for them to stay outside and fight, a good fight for others. You know, these are the kind of people that uh, actually role model to many global Nigerians. Shen Kuti, I really do, do not want to make a comment, but sometimes, you know, I, 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 you know, when I listen to some of you, that that a lot of global people are looking up to. Uh, of course, uh, I am deep into uh, the struggle for. Uh, for the freedom of Biafra people. So, and I know Nigeria very well. You know, I know Nigeria very well. And I know how they have impacted your brain. You know, how have they have caged you, subjugated you to this kind of mentality that many of you so-called celebrity are displaying today. How can you come on social media to advocate that those who are fighting like your father used his Afrobeat to fight Nigeria should also die the same way your father died. That's that's ridiculous. Nobody do the same thing and expect a different result. Those who want to stay there will die like your father. And you are not supposed to be talking. Supposed to learn from what happened to your father and do something differently. Don't do the same thing your father did. You're going to die for Nigeria and die for nothing. Today, many of them don't even know the impact your father made in Nigeria. Not only from not only from your father, your grandmother. Your grandmother was a great woman. Nigeria killed her. Nothing happened. Only in the history. Your father was a great man. Nigeria killed him like a chicken in the prison. And you are there shouting for somebody else to stay in a very ter terrorist state like Nigeria to die like your father when there was opportunity for them to make impact from outside. My brother, you should go and learn from what happened to others. And if you have anything to offer, fight from outside, not from within. Nigeria is a terrorist state and no reasonable person should sit in Nigeria and fight the way your father did. The way, the best way to fight Nigeria is the way we are fighting it today. There are people who are in Nigeria to fight and there are people who will be the face of the struggle, they don't necessarily have to be in Nigeria. So those who are not the face, who are behind the scene, will be in Nigeria, and the face of the struggle should be outside Nigeria, because Nigeria is a terrorist state that kills anybody that dared to and your father was a victim. You should be hiding yourself in shame. Thank you.